We talk about the Industrial Revolution, we talk about the, the Green Revolution. Well, this is the local food revolution. What this amounts to is long-term, intergenerational solutions for our food. If you go back not that far in our history, this is what we did. But in the space of about 100 years, we've lost the context of community and community food. Orchards are being taken out across New Zealand for lifestyle blocks. Quarter acre sections are being carved up and infilled. I mean, I've got lists of over a thousand different apple varieties pre-1900s, but they have no interest to modern research because you can't own them. Our heritage fruit trees are our connections with our ancestors and with the children to come, so it's our gift and it's our responsibility. I don't know if it's possible to grow food for public on public land, but it seems to me that it ought to be if we do it in the right way. We've had a pretty torrid time in Christchurch, and the government is going to be left with an awful lot of land which they don't know what to do with. Well, here, the community have an idea. It can't be built on. So what are you going to do with it? Well, grow food. Out of this earthquake, we're trying to restore community that's been lost. We asked the question of the government department, what on earth were they doing? And we found out virtually everything under four metres in height was going to be chopped down. It's sad enough that the houses are gone, but you've got all this resilience that's been built up through old varieties of fruit trees and food plants. Nobody's pruned them, nobody's sprayed them, but they're still producing such amazing fruit. You'd swear that this was come from a store. Well, we can't go to the supermarket and get what we wanted anymore. We can go to the supermarket to get what's given to us. The criteria for the food being grown isn't anything to do with what you think. And what's happened is in New Zealand, most of our commercial apples have come from half a dozen parents because it's exactly what the export market wants. We must take care of our biodiversity and the connections. We need to reclaim the commons. We need to reclaim our communities and we need to reclaim ourselves. You are part of the biggest movement in the world. One that flies under the radar of the media and you're it. This patch of rubble in a few months is going to start becoming a thriving hub for urban agriculture in this city. This is about a real need to support our communities and truly sustainable food resilience. There's this groundswell, this momentum, this council understanding. It's about the people for the people and it's done by the people. We are going to get that edible garden sitting and it's... Oh, it's actually quite exciting when I think about it.